Good morning. This is wonderful. Good morning. Wonderful to meet to greet you all this morning. So, Dr. Carr, um, Chief Executive Officer of Vancouver Island Health Authority, Ms. Harper, President of Victoria Hospice Board, Mr. Malcolm, here a minute ago, oh, there he is, <laughs> um, President of Victoria Hospice and Palliative Care Foundation, Dr. McGregor, He's waiting oh, the there he is. Good <laughs> morning, Dr. McGregor, Medical Director, and Ms. Van Theo, Chief Executive Officer, and of course, Ms. Jacinko, way back there, Jennifer. Um, Victoria Hospice patients, staff, families, devoted volunteers. Am I missing anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very pleased to be with you today. And I'm looking forward to uh, this opportunity to tour the Victoria Hospice facility. I am constantly humbled when I meet folks such as you who minister to and are involved with the special patients and families in palliative care units. It is indeed exceptional caregivers who tend folks faced with terminal illnesses. In our culture, we're not taught to deal with death and dying. It's not something we rehearse. Many families tend to hurry children away. Um, uh, it's, they don't want to disturb the patient, I realize. And, uh, but often, you know, we protect our, those that are dying from life. Uh, that's not what it should be about. In fact, children in appropriate circumstances is, uh, have much to offer just as pets and those that are part of the normal routine of life. Um, I'm not sure when someone is dying why we feel that we have to shelter them so much. Yes, we want to give them comfort, and, but let's not rush the process. Let's keep them part of our life. I like the fact that in 1980, Dr. Mount of Montreal, uh, when I read that name, I thought, how appropriate, Dr. Mount of Montreal. <laughs> I'm originally from Montreal. And he, termed the, he coined the, the term palliative care from the Latin meaning to cover or cloak. And to me, that portrays the image of being wrapped in a warm blanket and coddled with gentle nurturing. As the mission statement and charter of values of your Victoria Hospice states, and here, um, Please forgive me, but I've combined the whole page into one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that sentence, you strive to enhance through compassionate care in an empathic, non-judgmental manner the power of tender acts of kindness. That really is what you do. And that's exactly what you represent, the power of tender acts of kindness. 30 plus years of end of life care, both in inpatient units and in homes. For those who are, unable, or who are able to manage with their loved ones at home, the assurance of your 24 hour on call palliative response team must be the backup that provides the confidence and makes it possible for them to carry on. The planning support for families, making them aware of things that should be dealt with and so that both the caregiver and the patient can rest more easily. The cumulative understanding of the experienced volunteers that allows them to advise folks of things, things to talk about or address so that there will be fewer regrets, far fewer if onlys, the things that get left undone or unsaid. It, it's so often, I think, fear that impedes us as family and friends from jumping in and doing what our gut probably tells us we really would like to do, going where we may instinctively want to venture, to have the reassurance from the, and the support of folks with your kind of experience 
and to learn what has made the journey easier and more meaningful for families in the past. That's an invaluable gift. Only once have I had the privilege of saying goodbye to a close friend just minutes of a very short time before he passed. I just happened to be at the hospital looking after an elderly friend and I snuck quietly into Francis's room and I could sense that his battle with cancer was ending. We had that precious moment, goodbye, and it was the most comfort that I've ever experienced at the end of a friend's life. I was just so fortunate, fortunate to have been in the right place at the right time. Too often we are not afforded that opportunity for completion and, and we're left with regrets, with regrets. All the wishing, if only. So thank you to all of you who are part of this marvelous team. Thank you to the family, staff, volunteers, board members, counselors. Thank you all for your tender acts of kindness. Thank you.